Hello everyone, it's Mella, and today's video I'm going to be playing Minecraft again. So to start off with, I just want to point out that I finally got shaders on my phone so I can play with them. And I think it looks really great, um, besides the fact that I did see a creeper near my farm. Um, but my crops weren't ready yet anyway. I continued exploring, and I think the world looks really, really great now that it has shaders. Like, the water and the sky, it just looks awesome. Uh, the shack doesn't look much better, though, and I still killed that pig because I still don't have much food anyway. And I killed the chicken as well. So, yeah. I don't really remember what I did, but I knew that I was going to start clearing some land to build my house. And... I just want to point out, I am not really good at building a survival. Normally, um, again, I play with my family a lot, so we just kind of dig into a cave and build like a base in there. And so building an actual house is very different. I knew I wanted some cobblestone, and it's going to need a lot of wood. So I kept having to like stop and like go get more resources and like um, sand and stuff for windows. But eventually I had enough stuff for it and I decided it was time to keep building it. And yes, I killed a horse to get leather. Also, all of these clips are very sped up because this actually took me a very long time. Um, I think around an hour to build the entire thing. And I actually haven't finished it yet um, by the time this video was done. Once I finished editing it, I looked back on the house, I was like, okay, this looks really bad. So I just spent some time, like, fixing it up. Also, I don't recommend rebuilding this because I changed a lot of things a lot of times. And also, if you are going to build in survival, I recommend doing the floor first. That way you don't have to, like, take everything that you put there up and then, like, re-put it down. Also, maybe build the walls before you um, make a roof, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so I had barely even started actually building the house when I already moved a lot of my stuff into it. And then the day was over already. So I slept in the bare outline of my house. And I decided, okay, this looks very strange. Because it really does. Um, at this stage, I was still like trying to figure out what I was going to do. And I still needed a lot more wood. So I just went around chopping up some more trees. And finally got that fallen tree from in front of the cave. I also um, looked at my crops. They weren't done yet, sadly. Um, I figured since I was going to be working on this so long, I should check on my crops every now and then. Considering, like, I'm going to be playing for a while. And, yeah, I really wanted to, like, get a lot of wood around my house, and I kind of wanted my house to be, like, hidden, sort of, so I put a bunch of saplings around it, and I actually didn't even notice this, like, when I was building it, but the space that I had chosen for my house had a lot of trees, like, right on top of it that I never, like, fully chopped down. So I had to take away a lot of leaves while I was making up the walls. Also, my tools kept breaking <laughs> because I don't have that much like supplies to use for them. As you can see, that um, like slanted roof thing idea that I had didn't last very long and it's already gone. <laughs> and if you are wondering, I'm going to make a second um, episode of this, I guess if you can call it an episode. I'm going to be um, giving my this house a makeover in creative mode because I feel bad for leaving it the way it is. It looks good at the very end, but I feel like I could just add a lot more to it. So yeah, those leaves are so annoying. I really wanted to like get shears so then I could turn them into like vines or something, um, but I didn't have any iron and I didn't feel like going mining because I really wanted to finish this. And yeah, it, it, I think the idea that I had for the house was cool at first. I tested out in like a creative mode testing world that I have. 
and I had like an idea of having it being a triangle house, kind of looking like a wooden tent, sort of, which sounds ridiculous, but um, in the testing world, it looked very good, but I ended up scrapping that because I did not have enough oak wood for that, and I figured just making a normal house would be okay as well. Uh, I did keep looking around, and there were some mobs, but not a lot, and yeah. I was so scared that, like, I was gonna um, be farming my crops, and there would just be, like, a zombie or a drowned uh -huh. or something in the water come up and being like, bonjour, you're gonna die now. Um, that would have been scary, but it didn't happen, thank goodness. And as you can see, I continued having to clear out all that huge oak tree right above my house, which I think it would be kind of cool having trees on top of a house, but I feel like it would be something you would definitely have to add once you've actually built the house. Like if you're building in like a plains biome and then add like some trees around it, make it really overgrown, I feel like that would be a good way to go instead of like, oh, there's trees, I'm going to build a house underneath them. I feel like there's less restrictions, sort of. So I did continue looking around for more birch trees. And turns out there was one right in front of my house. And, yeah. I don't really know what else really to say. Um. Yes. <laughs> so. I've been having a lot of trouble recently thinking about what video ideas to do. So if anyone watching this has any ideas for a video, um, please tell me. I do have some things that I'm kind of planning on doing. But I don't really know if, like, people would watch those. I'm also thinking of having, like, a schedule. So, like, one week I would do a Minecraft video, the next week I would do a Roblox one. Please be sure to comment any ideas that you do have. I would really love to see you guys' opinion, and I do read all of my comments. Even though there are not many, um, I'm always gonna, like, read and heart you guys' comments. But on my last video, I did get one comment that had a bad link on it. So if there are any, like, bad things on my comment section, I am just going to remove them. Just saying. And about at this point in the time lapse, I think, I realized the house was kind of not center. And also, it was just not going very well. Um, I don't know. I'm not great at this right now. I'm still working on my Minecraft skills and playing by myself, and finally, finally, I took down the shack. Um, I put up some shutters, and I kept working on the roof. All in all, I actually had a lot of fun building this, um, even though it was kind of annoying at times, like when I just jumped off of the roof of my house and lost half of my hearts. It was kind of annoying, but I still think it was really fun. And for anyone that's watching that doesn't play Minecraft, I'm pretty sure everyone here plays Minecraft, though. I totally do think it's an awesome game. Kind of, it's dying, though. I feel like without the Nether update, it would have been kind of, kind of, we would have lost hope on it a little bit. But I think it's awesome. I love Minecraft, and I'm definitely going to keep making videos about it. So... Um, I kind of almost ran out of food, and I don't really have that much coal either, so I don't think I'm going to be making that many more survival Minecraft videos, like, in this world. I've kind of made up my mind to make speed build videos. I feel like that would just be a bit easier and more my route. I'm a bit better at making, um, at, like, building and making houses and, like, building stuff than I am doing whatever this is so yes I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm still kind of a noob at survival minecraft and I think that's probably why I've decided building might be a bit easier yeah this video I think is a lot longer than it needs to be um but I'm sorry this is as fast as I could make it and most of this voiceover is just me rambling um I got very terrified when I saw those wolves. I completely thought they were mad at me. That's why I even got my sword out. I was like, okay, now I'm gonna have to kill them. I don't have any bones. And then I realized they were just aggroed at a chicken. So, 
Yes, which was still kind of scary. Like, just watch the chicken get bombarded with, like, four wolves or whatever it was. I'm sorry that this voiceover is mostly just me rambling about random inconvenient things that happened. I don't really know what else really to say. Um, I keep saying um. <laughs> I haven't planned out what I was going to say at all. And also, this part was very painful. Not just because I fell off my roof, but because I knew that the only way the roof was going to work was if I got rid of the window and made it, like, different in the front, I guess. Honestly, I, um, don't really know how to make roofs look great on a house, but I kind of just put it off by making a sign and then just crafting some supplies and letting my, um, sand actually smelt because it turns out there was a pork chop sitting in the furnace the whole time. I continued getting some more um, resources. I did need wood. And honestly, that kind of just gave me some time to think, okay, so how am I supposed to make this house work again? Uh, I really wish I had been a little bit further in the game. Like if I had gone mining a little bit more, I would have gotten some iron and then maybe some uh, shears and like could have gotten some vines and leaves and stuff, but it's fine. So I did actually go around on like the top of the trees to like look at how it looked from far away and also get that apple that I saw. And this part, I was so confused. I was terrified that like the roof was going to look weird, but I think in the end it looks, it looks okay. <laughs> And also, sleeping with half a window just sticking out and there being a hole in your roof was kind of scary. Like, just look at that. Anyway, I finally removed the glass, which was pretty painful. Um, but yeah. And here's the part where I stopped playing and then I'm pretty sure I came back, like, later? I don't know. Actually, most of this footage was made over the course of like several days, and that's probably why I just kept forgetting what exactly I was doing, and then just like do stuff like that, like put a stair upside down on her. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I wanted to make like a beam across the um, roof, ceiling, roof, I don't know, uh, but I was one piece of wood short so I guess I just was gonna wait until later to do that and I decided to put it there instead I think it looks pretty cool I also knew I was probably about then gonna have to change the floor to being something besides grass although the grass does look really cool with shaders I think um a normal floor that's not dirt would be cool too and I also added the window back there because I think it looks much better there and I wanted to see how the shutters would look on it, but then I realized I was putting them on on the inside and they go on the outside. So I was kind of scared to go outside. I'm pretty sure there was like a spider or something out there. I cut that part out because I was kind of scared to fight it, so I didn't. Um, I knew it was like crawling around the outside of the house because I could hear it. And I made a shovel. So I decided to wait to put the shutters up and just sort of procrastinate until then and I think this is actually one of the more satisfying time lapses of this part of the video like just seeing it kind of disappear it looks pretty cool I think but that's just my opinion also the reason I'm using slabs for the floor is because it doubles the amount of wood and I'm probably not going to be building a basement so I think it just kind of works and yeah why not I was terrified to delete the doors though because um, I was scared there was gonna be, like, a army of mobs or something out there, so I just didn't put them there, and just put some dirt, which I feel kind of embarrassed about, just because, like, it would have been so easy to just put the doors there, but yeah, dirt works too, I guess. Also, I had a thought. 
why is dirt not a gravity block in Minecraft? Like, dirt doesn't float in real life. But, like, nothing does. Okay, I just confused myself. Like, to levels that I don't even know why. why. Like, why would I confuse myself? Like, I just don't understand it now. Anyway, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about at this point. This video is going to be so confusing. I'm sorry. Anyway, I still feel really bad about the roof. It just looks ridiculous. And also the fact that um, there's one door in a space where there should have been two doors. But I fixed that. Thank goodness. I don't know why I have just, like, random doors sitting around in chests when I don't even have, like, really any food. So, I also put a little, like, sort of, not really a porch, but like an overhang on the outside. I think that looks good. The roof still looks bad, but the inside is looking very cute, cute and cozy, I think. I have no idea what just happened to my voice. Um, I finally put up those shutters, sorta. I did look around for the spider though, and it wasn't there. I think it must have despawned or something. I don't really know the rules about like how long it takes a mob to despawn, but I think that's what did happen to it, because I think it has to happen before the next day comes. Unless it has an interaction with the player. I'm not sure. Please tell me if I'm wrong. Because I'm probably wrong. I finally fixed all those torches that were just randomly dotted around the walls. And I think the house looks great. 